For the eight-woman, four-man jury, this was a gut-wrenching five-week trial, and it didn't take them long to reach a verdict. Have you agreed upon a verdict? Yes. The Suffolk jury's decision came after just seven hours of deliberation. Not guilty or guilty? Guilty. Former NYPD officer Michael Valva convicted of second-degree murder in the death of his son, Thomas. What makes somebody be able to do something like that, especially to your own child? Valva neighbor Sharon Scarborough watched the verdict and then displayed a sign honoring the eight-year-old victim. Thomas Valva, prosecutors said, had been forced to sleep with his older brother in the family's garage, with Thomas freezing to death after a 19-degree night in January 2020. We can give uh, you know, Thomas and Anthony Valva a, a small, small measure of justice. Suffolk prosecutors had charged both Michael Valva and his former fiance Angela Polina for Thomas's death. They showed the jury in Valva's trial extensive surveillance video from inside the couple's home, arguing that Valva's two sons, both with autism, had been beaten and starved for three years. I apologize to Michael for not coming through for him personally, and uh, he actually said he understood. Valva's lawyers had asked the jury to consider a lesser charge like manslaughter, arguing that Michael Valva never thought Thomas would die in that garage. But in the end, the jury didn't agree. Justice has been served for your little boy. Michael Valva will be sentenced next month. His maximum prison term could be 25 years to life in prison. Angela Polina is facing those same murder charges, but her trial date has yet to be set. In Riverhead, Greg Sergal, News 4 New York. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.